So searching took place today among members of the KMT and DPP. While members of the ruling party warned President Ma ying that the KMT is in danger of losing the youth votes, a former premier in the DPP said the nation's largest opposition party lacks influence. Frank Shi appeared at the DPP Central Standing Committee meeting carrying a DPP review report from 2008. She apparently believes that the student sunflower movement has pushed the DPP towards crisis once again. It's obvious that we are becoming a little marginalized. When it started and how it will end, we do not know. During such a time, we can only provide some logistics. Of course, everyone is working hard to help. But as the nation's biggest opposition party, I think society expects more of us. Facing such criticism, DPP Chairman Su Zhenchang said he would start working on a plan to transform the party. There are many ways for us to advance with the times. Today, everyone is rationally examining how we can improve. We hope to prepare several different paths that will be proposed at next week's Central Standing Committee meeting. The KMT also held a Central Standing Committee meeting today. President Ma Ying-jeou did not directly speak about the students' planned withdrawal from the legislature tomorrow, but he did face questions from committee members who worried that the party will lose the youth vote.